What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's another fabulous day in the shop, and we are working on Project Grimace again. So I didn't get much done this week, but we're going to go ahead and get some work done today. Uh, my dad, he's been in the hospital this week. He had a knee replacement surgery about three days ago, and uh, I think tomorrow they're sending him to a nursing home to do his rehab. So I've been busy running back and forth with that and a bunch of other stuff getting work done in the new shop, but my dad watches all these videos, and he's often in the comments, so if you guys could all just leave him some well wishes in the comments, I'm sure he would absolutely love it. Uh, while you're down there, also click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and bang that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up, and then you'll be able to keep up with all the projects, right? So let me flip the camera around and show you what I have done this week. So this week... I got my chain mounted, or installed I suppose. You see it's a gold chain. This is a O-ring chain from TC Bros. And, and um, you may be asking, why did you go with a gold chain, Nick? Besides the fact that I think gold chains just look cool. If you haven't caught on yet, the bike is Project Grimace, right? So let's think about that. Some of you have figured this out, some of you haven't. But uh, the gold chain will match the paint scheme, as well as the gold spark plug wires. So it goes, my tins go off to paint on Tuesday. I'm taking them up. Uh, if you want to follow the painter on Instagram, it's nobody knows I'm a shithead. He does amazing work, has won a lot of awards, and I'm super excited that he's going to be painting my tins. What I've also done this week is I finally got my brakes installed over here. Today we're going to make some brake lines and get that all taken care of. But let me show you guys how I did the brakes on this bike. So, the hardtail kit that I use from Throttle Addiction, it comes set up for a caliper for a 2000 to 2003 Sportster. And it comes with a great solution to mount that. Well, my bike was a 99, so I didn't have the same caliper, so I had to either buy a different caliper or come up with my own solution. I came up with my own solution, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to flip the camera around and tell you guys what I did to mount a caliper on this. The caliper is not on right now, but the bracket is. So let me show you how I did that. So this right here is the standard bracket for a 99 Sportster, and what I did was, using my grinder, I cut this down, and then I drilled a hole in it. Now this piece right here is a cast aluminum piece, so when I threaded the hole, I put a helicoil in there, so I have stainless steel threads, and I have a spacer in there that I've cut to length to fit in there perfectly, and then just a bolt and a washer passing through. So the bracket will be able to slide back and forth, and my caliper will mount right there, and everything will work out great. So here in just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and get that caliper thrown on, and then we're going to make some brake lines. So I buy this brake line material from TC Bros, and you can cut it to length, as I miss my cart trying to toss it. And then you get these fittings, and these fittings, they have a little ferrule in them, and when you tighten them down, it will make that line good and solid. So, real nice when you're doing custom stuff to be able to make the lines that you need. Uh, a lot of the aftermarket options, not a lot, pretty much all the aftermarket options are set up for stock bikes. So, when you're building choppers, you gotta do some custom shit, right? And that's what we're gonna do today with these brake lines. So, let me. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and I threw the caliper on. And now, before I get this on the tripod, we're gonna go through. How this process works. So we take our brake line and it says in the directions to use a cutoff wheel. I've tried other methods. Cutoff wheel is definitely the way to go. You're going to cut this with a cutoff wheel and then we're going to use a uh, razor blade to cut this back about an inch and uh, we'll pull this black layer off so we can slide our fittings on. Let me throw this on the tripod and I will show you guys exactly how this goes. I like to hold the end with pliers while I tighten this nut.
Okay. And now that that is assembled good and tight, we can go ahead and install this on our caliper. Okay, so the brake line is ran under the bike and I have some temporary zip ties in place just to hold it where I want it. And now we're going to kind of just mark that with a thumb. Okay, now we have that cut and it's just gonna be the same process again of removing that sheathing and installing the piece. Okay, so now that we've repeated the steps from the other side, we have this side right here finished. And what we're going to do is remove this factory banjo fitting. And what we're going to install is this brake light switch, which will be our new banjo fitting. So it's a simple switch, two wires come off of it. Um, if you don't know how the switch works, power goes into one side. Whenever you press the brakes, the pressure closes the switch inside and power will come out the opposite side. So when you wire your brake light up, you only have to run a hop to your brake light. You can ground your brake light to the fender, the sissy bar, wherever it's mounted. You don't need to run a ground wire, but you only need one hop. You take this, put one crush washer there, take our line, and our other crush washer on the opposite side. Okay, so the brake line's now installed. I'm gonna go ahead and open this reservoir and we are gonna start getting this bled. So I use a vacuum pump to bleed these uh, makes your life a lot easier. There we go. We're starting to get some fluid through there. The vacuum pump helps a lot because when you put new lines on, even if they're factory lines, you kind of, I don't know the correct term for it, but it's like you get an air pocket in there that you really just can't get past just pumping the brakes up. And Harleys are just seem to be really bad about this. But we're going to go ahead and tighten that back up and continue bleeding this. Alrighty, so the brakes are bled. Uh, pretty much brakes are done. So I still need to do oil lines and wire this thing. That is not happening today. Um, some of the wiring I can't even finish until I get the tins back from paint. So I'm not sure what the next step from here is. But, you know, I've been thinking this over. I don't really like to do how-tos, but it seems that you guys like them, and I get tons of DMs from people who are having problems with their motorcycles, and I respond to every one of those. I try to walk with you guys through your problems, and I love doing it. I, I absolutely love doing it, but uh, I don't know everything about motorcycles, and I make mistakes, and I learn things the hard way, so I don't mind you guys asking me for help with your bikes. But just, just know that I don't know everything about bikes, and I don't mind spending the time. Sometimes I may not respond for a day or two. I am busy. But uh, I do love helping you guys, and I do love seeing your guys' projects. And it means so much to me that you guys think that, uh, that I am worth messaging with when you have problems with your bikes. It really does. So, um, like I said, Tuesday, tens go off to paint. Still have oil lines and wiring to finish up on this, but we are right there at the finish line. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on doing the ultimate ignition, but again, I really need to wait till the tins come back for that so I can have the bike running, right? Um, other than that, we are, what, two and a half weeks away from Mama Tried? Super excited for that. I'm hoping to see a bunch of you guys there. There's going to be a lot of awesome people there. But uh, I guess that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Again, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. 
comment below, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and if you head on to the description box, there are links to all of our social media as well as our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we make everything for horses right here in the USA. I will see you all in the next one. I'm out of here.